So here's a picture from Picturing Medicine that summarises the, the causes or the risk factors actually, should we say, for developing a, a, a clot, a blood clot, a venous thromboembolism, VTE. This is important because uh, you know often patients who are in hospital are, are at risk of developing a blood clot, typically a DVT or if it extends to the lungs, a pulmonary embolism. <clears throat> so we need to identify these patients and these are the typical sorts of uh, features that the guidelines would recommend that you look out for to identify at risk patients. So estrogen, any uh, reason for elevated estrogen, so the use of HRT or estrogen containing contraceptives, this in, if you're interested is the uh, chemical uh, sy sy um, symbol for uh, estrogen or the chemical the description for estrogen. Um, <clears throat> an admission to critical care would, would be a risk factor. Uh, any active cancer or cancer treatment. Dehydration, uh, top right here. Older age, for example, it's a bit arbitrary, but over the age of, of 60. Um, women who are pregnant uh, have uh, an increased risk of developing a, um, a blood clot. Um, or if they've given birth within the previous six weeks even. Varicose veins with uh, phlebitis um, is a risk factor. Um, and then metabolic, certain metabolic conditions such as elevated uh, electrolytes or um, uh, abnormalities there or, um, <clears throat> or elevated sugar levels. That relates to any significant uh, medical comorbidity, so heart disease, um, lung morbidity, metabolic disturbance, endocrine conditions, respiratory pathologies, acute infectious diseases or inflammatory conditions. So anything of that nature. Obesity is an important risk factor um, for developing blood clots. Infection or inflammation is a risk factor as well. Um, and this bottom right corner is, is a little aid to remember about family history of any first degree relative who's developed a blood clot and then bottom right any known thrombophilia so any predisposition to forming blood clots examples include factor 5 Leiden deficiency antiphospholipid syndrome or heparin induced thrombocytopenia so again remove the labels look at the image picture it in your head we've been through it now and just see if you can recall these causes, hopefully this diagram will empower you to be absolutely sure about what to look for to be uh, aware of the potential risk of developing a blood clot um, in, in a patient's leg or in the lungs, for example. So lots of other topics are covered here um, in differential diagnoses and syndrome signs and symptoms, etc. in the app um, Picturing MD. It's available on the App Store. It's also available on Android, and you can find out more information if you go to www.picturingmedicine.com.